Well, minimum wage in New York State is set to rise. By this time next week, the state's minimum wage will be at $8. By 2016, it'll go to $9. And those who, take the, who make the wage now say they really could use that extra cash. Pat Bailey spoke with one man who says he's looking forward to the boost in his paycheck. And Pat's live in the Albany Newsroom now with his story. Pat? Yeah, Liz, that's right. In fact, there's been two sides to this minimum wage debate ever since it started, frankly, earlier this year. Workers who say they need more money in their paycheck and business owners who say the added cost does not stop at just adding another three quarters, 75 cents, to someone's paycheck. Over nine years. Jason Watson is washing windows. It's his side job that earns him another paycheck. His steady one is for minimum wage, but Watson says he wants and needs more money. I want to be able to make it without the system, basically. So that's, you know, that's my goal now, to make it without the system. In New York, single people living off the current minimum wage do not qualify for state benefits such as food assistance. However, single parents with children, like Mr. Watson, do, and will still qualify even when the wage increases 75 cents next week. Is even $8 enough for minimum wage? I don't know. No, it's not. When New York makes the jump, they will join 19 other states and D.C. whose minimum wage will be higher than the federal minimum wage. If you could set the minimum wage, what would you set it at? It depends on the job. But minimum, I would say at least 12. At least 12. At least 12. At least $1 an hour to start. But business owners would disagree. Speaking on behalf of many in the state, the National Federation of Independent Businesses said this about the increase. Quote, anytime government mandates labor costs, especially in this economy, it will have a negative impact on small businesses who do not have the resources big box stores do to handle the increase. Now, as we said, New York's minimum wage will increase January 1st to $8 an hour. Next year, in 2015, a year out, it goes to eight seventy-five, and in 2016, it will be at $9 an hour. And if you all remember, this was a compromise deal that passed the state legislature this year. And if you remember, many Democratic lawmakers wanted $9 an hour right away starting in 2014 with the rate of inflation tied to it, meaning every time, Liz, the rate of inflation went up, the minimum wage would automatically increase. But this was the compromise that passed earlier this year. I know you, Pat, you talked to several small business owners today. What do yeah. they say about all this? Well, all of them told me that it's just more than the cost of the salary, but they say there's others tied to it. They say when the rate of pay goes up, so do, does, do the business contributions to Social Security and health care costs. They go up at the same rate that the salary goes up. In fact, the state director of the National Federation of Independent Businesses said the 75-cent increase equals about a 23% increase for the average employer per employee. Well, there's really two sides to that story. You listen to Absolutely. the worker and you can understand that he's got, you know, young children, I think, and, and probably really needs that extra money. Absolutely. But as one business owner told me today, she said, I can only sell a cookie for so much money yeah. in this area. I can only sell a piece of pizza for so much money in this area. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Well, we'll see where it all takes us when, uh, when this all kicks in. Thanks very much. And uh, we're going to take a look outside. Now.